So some hikers just passed us and they said there was a bear on the trail. <laughs> hey bear. What just happened, Serge? We just saw a bear like literally like 10 feet away. It's hard to give you a perspective of what it's like out here at Ray Lakes, but hopefully this helps. Okay, we're at Roads Inn. Uh, we're starting Kanoyers uh, and we're gonna do the Ray Lakes Loop. Here we go. Okay, we're starting our hike. Serge, what do you have to say to start? I just hope you live through this experience. <laughs> we got this, let's go, let's do this. So at least this will be the heaviest our packs will be and they'll lighten up after this. We're definitely not ultralight backpackers today. just passed us and they said there was a bear on the trail uh, 100 meters away so, um, luckily we ran into a big group of hikers so we're all hiking together so we'll see if we see them. We're probably gonna run into that. We just gotta build up our bear toughness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look! Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. he's walking up the trail yeah. towards you. Yeah, he came back, he like, turned around, mm -hmm. so we got scared. We we're like, well, let's give him some space. See, he's on the rock still. Isn't that crazy? Jeez. Yeah. Trust me, on video it's totally different than in, in person. Yeah, I know, it's like so real, you're like, there's no plexiglass between us. Yeah. They're not in a confined location. So, we didn't really run into that bear again. Uh, hopefully we don't. I, everybody thinks we passed him. So, he must have just dipped out of the bushes and then went back in. Uh, we're taking a quick just shot of the creek. There's like a waterfall here. 
and then we're moving back onto the trail. Man. Yeah. Is he following you? No. Is he following you? He ain't following you. That was surreal. Hey, Bear. It's crazy how close it was and we didn't even know. You don't want to hang out by the cub. Is your mama there? Yeah. That's why I was like, we got to be super observant. Because what if they're actually like trying to go after you? He was more worried about those bears, huh? Yeah. What just happened, Serge? We just saw a bear like literally like 10 feet away, chomping on some berries just like he was. Glad he was liking the berries and not liking us. So we just kept it moving. <laughs> yeah, he was literally on the edge of the trail. As we're talking, he's hidden in the bush like feet from the trail <laughs> yeah. luckily it was a a cub or something or a small bear uh, but <laughs> freaked us out a little there's a bear right there did he even see you guys or like he didn't, yeah, like, he, he, did. he didn't even yeah. stop eating while we were just there yeah. We just saw you and kept eating and like was looking at yeah. you. Yeah, I was making fun. I was like, oh, I hope we don't see it. And I look over. He's like right there. I'm like, oh, he's like, I'm bear, looking right bear, at a bear. <laughs> Just made it to Mist Falls. We're at least halfway, probably a little further. So while we're here, it's probably good to talk about our plan for day one. Our goal is to make it to Upper Paradise Valley Campground. So that hike was going to be about nine miles, so we'll see if that plays out. Right now, we're probably about six miles in. We're not too far away. Things are going pretty well. My GPS says five miles. We're five miles in, so we have about four miles to go. But we're a little past halfway. Uh, it feels good. Yeah, just moving along. Hey bear. Alright, we're taking a break. It's been quite a climb. This is a pretty tough uh, nine miles. Um, the guy on the way up warned, warned us that he saw a pretty fat rattlesnake. And he's also seen a couple of bears. This is definitely a place full of adventure. <laughs> uh, fortunately, we haven't uh, come across too many bad mosquitoes yet. I, I somewhat think that um, we're not past it yet. It's definitely a beautiful place to take a take a break real quick. I'm just taking it all in right now. It's just beautiful out here. <laughs> Okay, so 
so we just made it through and we're, I don't even know if we're completely done just went through the one of the tougher parts of the hike so far and it was from Mist Falls to Lower Paradise Valley and we're not even at Lower Paradise Valley yet it was quite a climb and uh, very difficult <laughs> We're uh, powering through. The sun just dipped behind the canyon walls. So it's starting to uh, cool down and get a little darker. We want to get to Upper Paradise Valley before it gets dark, continuing on. Yeah. Okay, we made it to camp. We're closer to middle of Paradise Valley right now. We're cooking dinner real quick. We made it in here around 8 p.m. and we hiked about eight miles. A little shorter than what we thought, but um, pretty close. We're trying to race to beat the light. A little dinner real quick by the bear canister. packed up our camp and we're getting ready to head out on the trail so it's a beautiful morning uh, last night we tossed and turned and didn't sleep too well for the most part you know we did get some rest I think we're recovered for today I'm looking forward to what the day will bring fortunately last night we had a bear locker we put all of our food in the bear locker we had no problems this morning we cooked a quick little breakfast and some coffee now we're ready for the trail our plan is to go out to about the 10,000 feet line and we're gonna hike roughly nine miles today we're gonna go just past the JMT PCT junction where they all meet up at least that's the plan if things are going really good uh, we're gonna power on to middle Ray Lakes and that'll save us a day that would be about 12 miles so if things are not going so good uh, we may camp closer to the PCT JMT junction and just take it easy and we can make up the time later so we, we have a flexible schedule so we're looking forward to our hike so here we go so it's about 9 52 a.m and we're heading out starting a hike for day two about just stopping at little places like this you know it's cool to try to make your miles in your time but you got to take out the moments and just find a cool place to just enjoy while you're out here and we found it right now so sometimes people wonder why do you walk way out here and risk getting in front of bears and all of that and I really feel like it's for places like this you know that we're at right now we have this all to ourselves we probably have seen six or seven people today Do they're stopped it. like this almost every hundred feet anywhere close to you know where people could hike in easily to or drive to then this place would be packed it's really cool that we have it to ourselves this is kind of what it's all about passing through Upper Paradise Valley now. It was probably about two miles from Middle Paradise Valley, so it's good we stopped there because we definitely wouldn't have made it here last night. We were just too burnt out. It does tell us that we have a lot further to go today than we thought. It's probably you know at least a mile or so, maybe even two miles longer than what we thought. So we're powering on. 
So we just noticed we were hiking off of the trail, took another trail for a little while and we don't know how long. Uh, it doesn't look like it was that far, but we won't know until we hike back how far off we were. We're working our way back to the trail now. back up with the trail. Uh, we had our little detour. Thankfully we didn't go that far off of the trail and uh, it was probably about a 10 minute walk back. But then we had the creek crossing or river crossing. That took about a, a little while for we took off our shoes and everything. So overall that whole experience in, with the detour and the creek crossing cost us about an hour. We're back on trail working our way to our camp tonight. Okay, so we just made it through some of the toughest uphill that we've experienced so far. It took us several hours and we finally went down again. We're on level ground. That's one thing I think people don't stress enough about this hike is if you're going clockwise, the climb in elevation is pretty intense. But we're powering on and I think it's definitely affecting our plants because we're not able to do as many miles as we thought we would. But we'll see on the flat ground when we make up the miles. Hopefully it stays flat for a while. Alright, so we made it through day two, and this is probably one of the most challenging days, definitely, that we've had so far. We went from Middle Paradise Valley to. I don't even know where we are. Do you know where we are? Suspension Bridge. Yeah, we went to the suspension bridge where there's the JMT junction here, and I think PCT too. Uh, it was just a lot of uphill. The biggest thing was just the elevation gain I mean it was like we were constantly climbing it felt relentless part of it was that we didn't leave until almost 10 a.m. and I think that was a mistake we were basically walking in the hottest part of the day and so we slowed down we were just weren't moving at full speed there's an ant on me tomorrow our plan is to go to Ray Lakes and we're probably gonna go to middle Ray Lake we heard it gets crowded we kind of want to get there early 
you know, see how it goes. And then we have to try to strategize to how we're going to make it back to our car by day five. We were planning on four nights here. Unfortunately, we're kind of catching up with our plan tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow's not too difficult because it's adding some mileage, but it doesn't seem like that much. We didn't see any bears today, thank goodness. Didn't see any rattlesnakes and nothing like that. It was a, a beautiful hike, especially right before we got to the suspension bridge for probably the, the last hour of our hike. Overall, we had a really challenging hike. It's just good to be here almost 20 miles in. I think uh, all the GPS apps have us like around 17 to 19 miles. That was our day. Okay, it's 8.40 a.m. and we are heading out. We were about an hour and 10 minutes earlier than yesterday, but we still like to do better. Tomorrow we're gonna have to get up early, so. But today, the plan is, is that we hike about anywhere from 6.1 to 7 miles. It's about 2,100 feet of elevation gain. So, here we go. Wow. Huh? <laughs> look, at, look around. <laughs> this camp was packed last night. Apparently we're some of the last few to leave this morning. But it's okay. We're in no rush.
and it's the Fen Dome up there. And uh, it's really nice just to know that we're almost there. That's, that's been the theme of the whole trip. <laughs> One, two, three. That's how you gotta do it. <laughs> I think I'm adjusted pretty well to this. <laughs> Thankfully we got in here, um, we're able to kind of enjoy a little bit of the day here, a little bit of the sunlight before we head out. This was supposed to be a zero day, so we actually caught up with our schedule. Yeah, we do Glen Pass tomorrow. We're just powering on. It's been a really good experience on today. It was a lot nicer, a lot more beautiful views along the way, a lot more meadows, lakes. About halfway through the hike, you ran into the lakes like every mile. So we went by Dollar Lake. I think it's called Arrowhead Lake. Then you started to see Fen Dome, then Lower Ray Lake, then Middle Ray Lake. 
It was a, a lot better hike today. I think we clocked in at about eight miles. It's only supposed to be about six to seven miles. And we clocked in eight, eight to nine. Things are moving along and everything seems to be going well. Um, so far, you know, no major injuries, no no major issues. And overall, we're, we may be on track to stick to our schedule. Day four, um, tomorrow's gonna be a hard day. We have to cover a lot of mileage. And then day five, we have to get back to our car and then actually get into cell range to text everyone that we're back um, so that they don't get worried. Our, our schedule is pretty flexible otherwise. In worst case, we come back an extra day later. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Things are going well, so peace. It's about 6.30, we're heading out of camp. It's the beginning of day four, and we're leaving about two hours earlier than yesterday, and that's because we wanna get over Glen Pass before it gets too hot. So, here we go. So we're working our way up the pass. So far so good. We're slow moving because of our heavy packs, but uh, we're moving uh, steady steady up the mountain and who knows how close we are but uh we're definitely getting higher up on this pass so that's good so how are you feeling third i feel like when your friend says hey let's go on a hike don't don't answer back just don't answer just <laughs> m.i.a you've been on the couch right now yeah <laughs> this is definitely good. one of those moments where you're rethinking why you're even on here <laughs> <laughs> no but the views are well worth it It's a very nice sight to see.
I thought that. So we made it up to Glen Pass. Uh, it took us about two hours or so from Middle Ray Lakes. Um, we hung around there for about a half an hour taking photos. So we left at 6.30. Uh, we made it up here. And it, we really didn't really start until about seven. And uh, we made it up here at about uh, nine. Overall, it was a difficult hike, but um, we've kind of built up the energy. So it was actually easier for us to climb than some of the other days. Nice to be up here. It's all downhill from here for us. Just taking it all in up here. How'd you feel about that hike, Serge? It's doable. It's take it slow and easy, you know, once you get lightheaded, start getting busy a little bit, drink some water, eat some blueberries, take a break. Did you feel any of that altitude? A little bit, like right, maybe the last couple of uh, switchbacks. Yeah. Felt a little bit lightheaded. But just, overall, it was okay. I just felt shortness of breath big time. <laughs> yeah. And then I felt like I was seeing stars at one moment, but I don't think that was because of the altitude, I think it was because of my heavy backpack. Yeah, I think the weight, right? Yeah, but yeah. I, I do feel like a pressure in my head, like um, almost like it yeah, wants like it to be tighter, a headache. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But it, overall, I feel good. Um, yeah. And it feels like we we felt better about that climb up, right? The, more oh, than yeah. the second day. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a lot more doable than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. We need to finish out today, and then tomorrow we'll get back to the car. So we're here at uh, Glen Pass. For the cheesesteak. Junction Meadow at about 3.45 p.m. and it was 
a long day since we started in at 6.30. We went over by the creek and kind of cooled off our feet for a little bit once we got here and then we had dinner and we're kicking back. I feel like I'm, I have like a little bit of heat stroke or something, like minor heat stroke. I started feeling like just really hot, like almost a headache. I don't think it had to do with altitude since I've been at a higher altitude the past few days. The hike was, uh, it went well, like I think Glen Pass was almost easier for us than we thought it would be. The rest of the hike we started the downhill descent so it was really nice to clock in some miles. Um, Junction Meadows seemed like it, it was a lot further than what we thought but we knew it was going to be kind of a long haul and now we're kind of racing to make it to the car by tomorrow so we'll see if uh, if we do. Okay it's about 6 10 and we're heading out from our camp on day five to Road's End and back to our We made it to the bridge. We're two miles from Road's End, a very good site. Yeah, it's a baby rattle. Yeah, it has a rattle on it. We saw our first rattler. <laughs> Why is he kissing it? We made it. We're at Rhodes Inn now. <laughs> what's, what's the official time? Oh, snaps. We are at 11.09. Cool. We made it. We made it in almost, what was that, five hours? We made it in five hours. Oof, that was tough. Oh my God. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and if you did, be sure to click the like button. And be sure to comment below and talk about it, and maybe your experience or your plans to come out here. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.